Hey guys, what's good? This is the first part of my project based Blender course for beginners and it's the best place to start learning Blender because I will tell you all of the basics with real time examples in the software. In this series of tutorials, I'm gonna cover basic subjects like modeling, shading, UV mapping, lighting, rendering and also some rigid body simulations. The whole course is divided into 5 parts and this is the first part where we are going to model a bullet. But before that, I wanna let you know Know that you can download the project file of this tutorial and all of the other tutorials on my patreon let's get started first of all you need to download the reference image from google after that open the blender and you will probably see this page click on general to create a new file you can click on each item to select them press a on your keyboard to select everything and press x and say ok to delete everything by the way i've created a pdf for every shortcuts i'm using in this series of tutorials and you can find its download link in the description press shift a to add a new object go to the image section and choose reference then find your reference image you've downloaded recently press alt r to reset the rotation then press r and x and enter 90 on your numpad to rotate the reference image 19 degrees in the x axis then press shift a and add a circle scale it down by pressing s to fit it with the reference image you can select your reference image and press gz to move it up like this select the circle and press tab to go to the edit mode then press f to fill the circle press 1 on the number pad to change your perspective to front view and extrude the object by pressing e and left click to release it you can either extrude it all the way up and then add loop cuts to your object by pressing Ctrl R and change the scale of your loop cuts by selecting them and press S or you can insert the circle by pressing I each time you want to extrude it up and create the shape. I prefer to extrude the whole cylinder and then make the shape by adding loop cut. You can enable the X-ray mode by pressing Alt C or just click on this option to see through your objects. Hit Ctrl R to add loop cuts, then left click here and drag your mouse to change its place, then left click again to release it there. Add loop cuts on every edges the bullet has. You can change between vertex, edge and face mode by pressing 1, 2, 3. After adding loop cuts, you can select them by holding Alt and select an edge to select all of the edge along with that. You can change the edges position by pressing WG. It helps you to move it along the cylinder. You can select multiple edges by holding Shift Alt and select another edge. Then when you press S to scale them down, you can press Shift Z to scale them down in X and Y axis and ignore the Z one. Just like that, select the edges and scale them down to fit them with your reference image. You can add more loop cuts if you need by pressing Ctrl R and then change their place and their size. For situations like this that the edges went through the bullet, I'm gonna select this edge and press Ctrl B to bevel it and make it 2. Then select the top one and press S to scale it down. After that, press G and Z to move it down along the Z axis. And just do the same for the other parts and remember these short keys G to move, S to scale and you can add more loop cuts by pressing Ctrl R. After I get the shape like this, I right click and choose shade smooth to make my bulk smooth and soft. And after that I'm going to the modifier properties, click on add modifier and choose subdivision surface which is used to split the faces of a mesh into smaller faces aka it basically subdivides it and giving it a smooth appearance after adding the subdivision surface modifier i can see the edges that got too much smooth and they lost their sharpness so i'm going to fix them by beveling them but before that i make sure that i'm in the object mode i select my bullet i press ctrl a and choose a scale to apply the scale of my bullet it helps to bevel my bullet correctly I'm going to add a bevel modifier by clicking here and choose bevel. Then I should put it behind the subdiv modifier by clicking here and dragging it to the top. Because it must affect earlier than the subdiv modifier. 
The amount is basically determines how big is the area of the bevel for each edges and the segment's value adds more edges on that area. The angle tells that the bevel modifier won't apply for the edges that have less than 30 degrees. So firstly I'm going to decrease the angle to something like 24 degrees to affect on all of the edges. I enter 0.01 for the amount and 3 for the segments. Now we are done with the modeling and in the next part I'm gonna cover shading and creating material subject. So stay tuned for the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel to don't miss other videos and check out the Patreon to download the project files. Thanks for watching and goodbye.